Hey guys, welcome to my video. Um, if you haven't seen the previous one, I would suggest going back to the one before this. Um, I had quite a few requests for the circuit of this machine for this oscillator, so here we go. So this is this is the circuit right here. You guys could screenshot it or whatever. Um, you have the two coils, just like on this. Um, they're opposite, so one goes this polarity and one goes the other polarity. Um, you could do a 10k resistor or a um, diode. Like this one that I'm running right now has no diode. This one has a diode and a little neon, uh, which is right here on the circuit. So, so I also had some questions about running um, 120 volt light bulbs. So that's what we're gonna do today. So. To get this fired up and um, for those of you that didn't see the previous one um, it comes through here from the 12 volt battery into the oscillator and then the output of the oscillator goes through the capacitor into the light bulbs and then back to the battery so what we'll do is let this get up this other one in here before it gets too high so yeah it pretty much runs at you know 140 145 something like that and um, the output of these lights are going into this battery which is not a lot of charge but it's still something um, on the previous video I showed 12 volt light bulbs that were LED as well and um, that back charged the battery you know a quarter of an amp while you're still running two light bulbs so this is just a demonstration of some of the voltage that you could get out of these little oscillators. So we're running just a hair over one amp right now. Uh, we're running at 144 volts in series with the second battery. So everything that goes through these light bulbs will end up in that battery back there. So pretty neat little circuit. Um, quite simple. It's basically a John Bedini circuit just with one wire backwards so yeah um, this is the second one I built it has a bigger coil um, you get a little bit higher voltage out of it um, than this one does uh, this one uses a little bit less power has a diode and the neon so when you run this one with the 120 volts um, light bulbs the neon will glow and dissipate some of the power but this one doesn't have it in there so I could run the higher voltage stuff and um, it could charge this battery up to you know, somewhere in 300 volt range, um, the capacitor. But make sure your capacitor is rated right because otherwise they'll more likely explode. Um, this capacitor, um, 400 volts, 3300 microfarads uh, for this 120 volt demonstration. So anyway. Hope you guys liked the video. Thanks for watching. Don't first forget to subscribe and good night.